CBS 2 News starts right now with breaking news. Coronavirus fears in Chicago tonight. We've just learned a group of college students who passed through O'Hare are being watched for signs of the deadly virus. And tonight, the death toll is rising in China. 25 people are now dead from the outbreak. 830 infected. Parts of China now on lockdown to contain that spread. Charlie Damar is live at the breaking news desk with several new developments, including a local man in China and more on those students. Charlie. Brad and Erica, good evening. Now, none of those students showed any signs or symptoms, but they are being monitored closely as as a precaution. We are told that six University of Wisconsin Platteville students came through O'Hare Tuesday after traveling to Wuhan, China. Two of those students are actually from Wuhan, where the coronavirus started. Their temperatures are being taken pretty often as a precautionary measure. And the six students, they're actually living together in a residence hall, but they are not being isolated or quarantined. Meantime, I spoke to Ken Zurich, who lives in Highland, Indiana, but right now he's with his wife in China for the Lunar New Year. He says there's certainly been an increase in people wearing face masks, but he notices that most everyone is just going about their days as normal. Now, even though he is quite a distance from central China, where this virus is concentrated, he isn't taking any chances. We are wearing masks every time we go outside, every time we come back to the condo. We, we immediately remove our clothes, uh, take a shower, uh, because we have a six-month-old infant here. Once again, 25 people have died in China from the coronavirus, and some 830 people are being treated. In the U.S., there's only been one case diagnosed, a man from Seattle. Brad and Erica. All right, Charlie, thank you.